Hey everyone, I am back again, um, and I'm not going to be doing a prepping video this week just because I'm not going to be doing a lot of prepping. Um, I kind of pulled a stupid earlier this week on Wednesday, I guess I just wasn't awake enough, and I poured hot coffee all over my hand while I was trying to fill up my mug. So I actually ended up going to the uh, walk-in clinic today. I have a huge burn here and also here so I'm really sore and um, I don't want to get this dirty or wet or anything like that so I'm not going to be doing a lot of prep cooking this week but I did go grocery shopping and I want to show you a, a few of the new things that I bought this week um, my husband and I were talking today and he was like I, I want more variety I want more vegetables I want more this I want more that and so while we were shopping, we got him and I a few new things to try this week. Um, the first thing we got, we got at Aldi, and these are blackberries. Now, blackberries are one of the lower carb fruits that you can have. Um, and so I told him that what we're going to do is we're going to make up some heavy whipping cream. We're going to whip it up. We're going to add some sweetener to it, and then he can use the uh, whipped cream with the berries. And Usually I think about five or six is a serving and that's just a, a couple of carbs. So that's not going to be too bad. And he was really excited about the prospect of having a little bit of fruit. Um, and to go with that, we also got some of this. Um, it's just xylitol. And we got this at Fresh Market. It was $8.99. We haven't really tried many sweeteners just because of all my allergies. And I told him, I said, you know what, when you want something sweet, you need to tell me so that I can make something for you because it doesn't generally occur to me to make him something sweet. So we got that as well. Um, we're going to try it in a couple of different things maybe, but... I don't know. We'll see how it works. I'll let you know in a in a later video if we liked it, if it had a cooling effect, or if it was sweet enough, or if it was too sweet, or or what. So I'm going to use that in the whipped cream and um, use it for his berries. Um, the next thing that we got, we got a couple of things at Sam's. Um, this is beef kielbasa, and I believe that it's just one gram of carbs per serving, uh, per link. So that's not really bad at all. Some of the ingredients are a little, uh, but not terrible enough to me, for me to say, no, we're definitely not getting it. There's no corn starch in, or corn syrup in this at all. So that's like my number one thing that I always use. And if it has corn syrup in it, I don't get it. I just don't. Um, I don't think it's good for anyone and um, of course not on a ketogenic diet. The other thing that we got this week were, um, it was a box of 80 beef franks, um, and those were at Sam's as well. Um, the kielbasa was about $14. The beef franks are actually about $24, but you get 80 hot dogs, and they have no corn syrup in them, and the ingredients looked clean enough that even I can eat them. So I'm really excited to try them this week. In fact, when we got home from grocery shopping today, I chipped two out of there and threw them in the microwave, and they were really good. Not as an everyday thing, but maybe once a week or so. Um, and my daughter's real excited because she likes hot dogs too, so she's going to be eating those, I'm sure, a lot more than me. Um, and then I have, um, I think it's pronounced Oaxaca cheese, and this is a melting cheese. I saw a recipe a couple of weeks ago that used this, and I think it's for making like a queso dip. And I'm not going to be using the green chilies, the canned green chilies or anything like that. What I'm actually going to try to do is saute some uh, jalapenos uh, that are chopped really thin and then put that in there with the Oaxaca cheese and some milk or some cream, excuse me. Um, and I don't know what else. We'll figure it out as we go along, but I'll try that recipe this week. And if it turns out good, you'll see a video about it. Um, the other thing that he likes is he likes to dip. 
he likes dippy stuff and so uh, we're always buying him pork rinds and he likes to use those as crackers and he'll put uh, summer sausage and a slice of cheese on there and eat it kind of like a cracker um, appetizer kind of thing but this week he said you know what I really 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 want some pimento cheese dip and so um, we looked up the ingredients and it's not really hard to make we actually bought a container of it from Sam's um, and it was like seven dollars or something for a container about this big about that big around so I said well we'll try and make some this week and again I'll make a video on that if it turns out you'll get to see it um, but I've got a couple of ideas so one of the things that we had to get this week was pimentos you can't have pimento cheese dip without pimentos so we got those at uh, fresh market they were a dollar ninety nine for this nice little jar there's no risk there's no ingredients in here I don't know how many carbs it is I'm going to be looking it up but um, usually sliced pimentos are just um, pickled peppers so I don't see that the carbs on these should be very high um, I'm thinking that probably in this whole jar is probably about four or five carbs if I can't find any information that's what I'm gonna count and that's uh, I'll be using those that this week as well um, the other thing that he said that he wanted this week was um, some chicken salad because he likes to take it for lunches and dip his pork rinds in it um, and so I found it Aldi today these uh, chicken leg quarters they were a dollar off so it really only cost me about four and a half dollars 444 so 344 because it had the dollar off so for three and a half dollars what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skin off of this and and um, bake the skin so that I can have some chicken rinds instead of pork rinds um, and then we will boil the um, the chicken on the bone and we'll pull the chicken and that'll be for his um, chicken salad and then the broth that's created will be uh, extra bone broth for me to throw in the freezer um, some other things that we got this week that were kind of interesting for us um, is Brazil nuts these are uh, tree nut I believe and they are 3.7 grams of carbs per ounce which is not bad at all um, and then it has like 19 <coughs> excuse me <coughs> has about 19 grams of carbs or I mean fat and six or seven grams of protein so these are a nice little snack if you need just a little bit of something in fact um, while we were out shopping I was starting to get a little um, hungry to where I needed to eat something and so I had a couple of these and that really helped me a lot the other thing that we got were walnuts or are these pecans these are pecans um, he likes pecans and he said that pecans and walnuts are about his favorite and looking at um, the nutrition value actually these aren't bad these are four grams of carbs per, per ounce and then it's also about 21 grams of protein and or 21 grams of fat and six or seven grams of protein so my plan for this is to take the recipe for Chex Mix and I'm gonna use it on pecans I think I have some uh, plain pork rinds that I'm gonna crunch up a little bit and I might even have um, thrown some of those Brazil nuts chopped up a little bit because they aren't his favorite he said but you know chopped up they might be a little more his style especially if I put them with um, the the seasoning that you use for Chex Mix um, the other thing that I'm probably gonna try eventually is to try to make um, because he's also missing he loves the um, honey mustard pretzels so of course we can't have pretzels but I'm gonna try a couple other things and see if I can't get a recipe for maybe some honey mustard 
nuts or um, mix the nuts with the plain pork rinds as well. And then um, the other flavor that he really likes is wasabi. He likes wasabi peas. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out some way to make wasabi um, walnuts or pecans and see how he likes those. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing much cooking this week. In fact, um, my husband and daughter have to take over cleaning the dishes, yay! And um, so hopefully I will be back next week with a good cooking video um, because my hand is really sore today and I'm really tired and I just uh, I need to rest. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to show you what uh, some of our plan for the week is and some of the new things that we're going to try. Uh, hopefully things turn out good um, and once uh, once we know how we liked these things I'll definitely update you and let you know um, but I hope you have a great Sunday and I hope you're prepping well